How are you, Eli? I've uh, I've been better. How so? Uh, lately, I, I I've been dealing with setbacks. Setbacks? Yeah. How have these setbacks uh, been affecting your daily routine? I just feel like I'm uh, something's holding me back. Um, feel it feel it feels like I'm drowning. How long has this been happening? About a week ago. What happened? There was a fire. A fire? My temple was destroyed. Somebody assault you? Sorry, my people's temple was destroyed twice. Twice? Eli, your people's temple was destroyed twice in a fire last week. Actually, it was uh, more like 2,000 years ago. So, Eli, your temple was destroyed 2,000 years ago, and that got you depressed last week. It's hard to explain. We call it the three weeks of mourning. We? Uh, and who is, uh, who is this we? The Jewish people. The Jewish people. So let's try to understand you subject yourself to this pain f for three weeks? Like I said before, I'm just trying to make sense of everything that's happening to me. Well, I, I certainly will try. Why don't you start, Eli, from the beginning? The very beginning. When you start building a temple, you start with a stone. Yes, yes, I know the rest of the story. A ladder, a rock, a temple is built. No, not a temple. The temple. And it got destroyed. But then we rebuilt it. Well, certainly that's good.
ומדוע אתם בוכים? וכי אינך רואה שבית המקדש חרב ושואלים מתהלכים בו? לכן אני צוחק. במהרה ייבנה בית המקדש. וכי לא קראתם את מה שהבטיח הקדוש ברוך הוא לנביא מיכה? ציון שדה תחרש וירושלים עיין תהיה. וכשם שקיים את הבטחתו הראשונה, כך יקיים את הבטחתו השנייה, לבנות את בית המקדש השלישי. כמו שאמר לנביא זכריה, עוד ישבו זקנים וזקנות ברחובות ירושלים. הקשיבו ליונה זו, מספרת אילנו שמעולם לא עזבה השכינה את הכותל. בית המקדש במהרה ייבנה. עקיבא ניחמתנו, עקיבא! עקיבא ניחמתנו! My grandmother would tell us that story when we were young. Did your grandmother tell you stories? She did. What stories did she tell you? Stories that only grandmothers can tell their grandchildren. The stories that belong in the purview of grandmotherhood. But, Eli, this is not about me. This is about you. So, help me understand what it is that is making you feel these setbacks. You are an American, correct? Yeah. So then I'm even more confused. Maybe you can help me understand what is it about these events of 2,000 years ago that can cause you to ha have setbacks, to, to walk around like you're in mourning. You're an American too, right? Uh, yes, uh, of course I'm an American. Do you celebrate July 4th? I do. How do you celebrate? Well, the family gets together. We uh, bring everyone together. We barbecue, hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, sometimes uh, we shoot off fireworks, you know, the, where the kids always somehow, somebody gets hurt. But why do you celebrate? History? Well, it's the same for me. And I'm an American, but Jerusalem is in my DNA. Thank you. 
You all right, Doc? I, I'm all right. Care for some water? Sure. Allow me. Wish I had more to offer. So? I get it. You have a very long history. It's not history, Doc. It's my blood. For 2,000 years, at least twice a year, we're, we're saying next year in Jerusalem. And, 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 and I want to be there. And, and I'm not there. So, so what's stopping you? What's stopping you? I don't know, Doc. I, I'd like you to help me out with that. Use the history as a reference point for yourself. Transform the dark moments into light. Embrace that moment. For perhaps this is silver lining. Shalom. My name is Daniel Luria. I'm the executive director of Ateret Konim, involved in bringing Jewish life back to the heart of Jerusalem. The stone, the Jerusalem stone with its silver lining, has been the building block of our history. Behind me is a mound of stones that literally were thrown down by the Babylonians, by the Romans, 2,000 years ago, in a time of sadness and destruction for the Jewish people. But 2,000 years later, we're back. Not just looking at these stones, but using these stones to rebuild Jerusalem. Today, we have rebuilt Jerusalem. Today, there is the revival of Jewish life in the heart of Jerusalem. A thousand Jewish residents live in the old Jewish quarter on the Mount of Olives in the old Yemenite village. Yes, the world says it should be divided, but we have rights here in this city. We are the natural heirs. We are the sons of Abraham that have returned to Jerusalem. We are the silver lining 
of Jerusalem. And with these building blocks, we will see it continue to be built. You have to come here, you have to walk the streets, you have to meet the families, you have to see how people live here without fear because they, because they feel it. It's in their heart, it's in their neshama. And the more people who come here, who walk the streets, who meet the families, who see what a terraconium is doing, they will want, they'll ask us, who do we give a donation to? What can we help? What do you need? And boy oh boy will I tell them what we need. But we need, we need the friendship, we need the support, we need your hearts to, to stand with us, you know, together. Am echad, echad. And when it's am echad, echad, they will be our partners and help us, help the city grow. Like a child has to be raised with love. Well, they're bringing Yerushalayim back to life with love. So we need people to be our partners.